oversized version of our commander, Gabby Nest Warden. A uh, total of five, two white, red, and blue. Legendary creature, human shaman. You may pay zero rather than pay cycling costs for the first card you cycle each turn. That's every turn, not just your turn. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 2-2 red, white, dinosaur, cat, creature, token. And then it is a 2-5 creature. I don't know exactly what you do with these giant oversized cards. Does anybody play with them? Or have even is there any way to save them? At some point they might be worth something. Alright. There's that. Now we got here. Diamonds, what is it? Magic the gathering. Explanation of that. Nice little pamphlet. No reason to read. We got here the life counter. You like that cardboard on cardboard grinding action? Listen to that. I guess this is like a deck box. Let me put it back in. Store it. It doesn't look like. Well, maybe. If you only sleeve it. If you single sleeve it, you might be able to store it in there. smell. There's a high chemical smell. Now that we open that. Alright, here. Let's grab the first half. I'll kind of go through those. So this will be the end of the ASMR-ish part of it. So now we got uh, the commander once again. I've already went over that. This is the smaller version you would actually put in your deck. Unless you could somehow smell, sell that and then use the big one. We got a uh, another commander. So this is the alternate commander. Uh, Akeem, the Soaring Wind. It is uh, same price as Gavin. Five. Red, white, and blue, and two. Legendary creature, bird, dinosaur. With flying, whenever you create one or more tokens for the first time each turn, create a 1-1 one, one white bird creature token with flying. And then it has, uh, for 5 or 6, creature tokens you control gain double strike until end of turn. It's kind of, if you want to use it as an alternate, it's kind of a, a little weaker version. But uh, I would definitely keep it in there. It goes well with the main commander. And then here we have another alternate. And so these are actually partner Commanders, Braylon Sky Shark Rider for four, uh, red, legendary creature, human shaman, 
partner with Shabazz the Sky Shark, which we'll see in a second when this creature enters the battlefield. So if you have him in the deck, you can actually, when you play one, you get to draw the other one and ser or search for it. If it's not in your hand. Whenever you discard a card, put a one. Plus one, plus one counter on Braylon Sky Shark Rider, and it deals one damage to each opponent. And then for one red target, Shark gains trample until end of turn. And here we go. And this is the, so you can have both, if you want to alternate these two, you can have them both out at the same time as your commander. And then uh, partner with Braylon, Sky Shark Rider, flying. Whenever you draw a card, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Shabazz, the Sky Shark, you gain one life. Uh, so whenever you discard, and then this one is whenever you draw. So if you cycle, you do both. So, a little bit more powerful because you get a free draw every turn, on your turn. With this one and then to gain one life and then for a white or a blue target human gains flying until end of turn so they work off each other well and we got some tokens dinosaur cats that uh, gave in the main one is going to produce get four of those uh one one flying spirit uh soldier one one elemental three one another elemental three one insect token creature flying haste one one Human Soldier 1-1, one, one. and let's see what's on the back of these. A Drake Flying 2-2, two, two. Kraken 8-8, eight, eight. Flying 4-4, four, four. Angel, Elemental 4-4 four, four, Flying, Treasure Token, and 4 Birds. So those are your tokens. Looks like we're going to get into some lands. Uh, land here we got is... Ash Barons, tab for a generic, basic land cycling, pay one, discard this card, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library, so if this doesn't work out for you, you can cycle it out and get something. Azorius Chancery, Azorius Chancery enters the battlefield tapped, Azorius Chancery enters the battlefield, return a land to your hand, and then you can tap it for a white and a blue. Costs a little bit to get going, but it's uh, pretty good after that initial upkeep. Same thing here, except it's a red and a white Boris Garrison. Uh, command Tower. Add one man of any color in your commander's identity. Desert the Fervent Battle uh, enters battlefield tapped, or you can cycle it for two. So in case you don't need Lance. Also a blue one version and a white version of that. Here's a little different. Drifting Metal enters Battlefield tapped. Oh, same thing. Except you can just cycle it for two generic. You don't have to pay a white. And then this one is uh, added. I was in tapped. Otherwise, you can cycle it for a red. It's kind of some. And then here's the blue and red version of where you have to return a land. And then you can tap for two mana one red and one blue. Much better. I'll keep those. Uh, the battlefield tapped, and this is the blue one where you have to pay blue to cycle it, or you can cycle it for free with Gavin. Myriad Landscape enters the battlefield tapped. Add a generic, or pay two after it's in there. Tap it, sacrifice landscape, search your library for up to two basic land cards that share a land type. Put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. I would probably use that. And it is a land, so you can immediately do it. If you have the mana. Enters battlefield tapped. And you can add a uh, red white, so this is basically like a triumph, but it doesn't have cycling ability on it. And I don't think they have the red white blue triumph or any triumphs in this. You have no maximum hand size, a little bit of bonus, and then tap that land for a generic mana. Recolent Tower, Remote Isle, uh, comes in tapped, cycle for two. Another one of the cycling lands, uh, another cycling land for the white, another cycling for two red. Nothing special, I'd probably try to get rid of those, except for maybe the cycle for two generic, so if you don't need it, you can get it out for free. And uh, this is Temple of False Gods, a land you can add two. Activate this ability only if you control five or more lands. So that's nice, but limiting. And then now it looks like we're into the basic lands, so let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, five. Island, three mountain. I don't know if they're gonna come back with some. And then here's a cryptic trilobite. 
Cryptic Trilobite enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. Remove the one plus one plus one counter from Trilobite, and then you can add two generic mana. Spend this mana only at, to activate abilities. That sucks. And then one and tap it. Put a one one counter on Cryptic Trilobite. So you don't have to tap it to remove them, so that's good. Uh, dismantling Wave for three. For each opponent, destroy up to one tar artifact, target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Or you can cycle it for eight and uh, discard. Uh, when you cycle Dismantling Wave, destroy all artifacts and enchantments. That included yours. Herald of the Forgotten. This is, I believe, a winner. One of those where you just play it and you should win. When Herald of the Forgotten enters the battlefield, if you cast it, return any number of target permanents with cycling abilities from your graveyard to the battlefield. So that's just going to load you up on everything if you have some sort of a haste. Would definitely make that even that much more powerful. Then we got uh, Crystalline Resonance for three. Whenever you cycle a card, you may have Crystalline Resonance become a copy of another target permanent until your next turn, except it has this ability. Ethier Frogger, Forger for six, a three-three with Delve. Each card you exile from your graveyard while casting face for one. As flying, whenever Ethereal Forager attacks, you may return an instant or sorcery card exiled with Ethereal Forager uh, to its owner's hand. So you can delve those out, and then as you win every time you attack, you get one of those cards back. Oh, here we go. So this card is a $30 card. You may want to just take this out. Um, it definitely would, it's, n it's not a card you don't want to take out, but due to the value, you might want to take this out and sell it since you paid about. They're going for about $33, so if you can somehow get a good percentage of that $30 value out of this card, yeah, that uh, saves you on quite a bit, but otherwise a really good card. Pierce Guardianship, instant for three, or if you control a commander, you may cast a spell without paying its mana cost, that's why it's so expensive, and counter target non-creature spell. I'm going to set that one aside. Agitator Ant for three, it's a 2-2 two -two insect. The beginning of your end step, each player may put two plus one plus one counters on creature they control. Go to each creature that had counters put on this way. Until your next turn turn, they must attack if able and must attack another opponent if able. Which is goad. We're going to see a few of those. Um, probably the goad ones you'd want to take out. They don't really max, like synergize in here. Spellfire Phoenix for five. Flying, whenever a spell a pyre phoenix enters the battlefield, you may return an instant or sorcery card with cycling ability from your graveyard to your hand. At the beginning of each end step, if you cycle two or more cards this turn, return spell fire phoenix from the graveyard to your hand. It doesn't go to your battlefield, unfortunately. Surly Badgesaur for four. It's a 3-3 three, three badger dinosaur creature. Whenever you discard a creature card, put a plus one, plus one counter on Surly Badgesaur. Whenever you discard a land card, create a treasure, treasure token. And then whenever you discard a non-creature, non-land card, it's really bad for fights up to one target creature you don't control. So this is a pretty good card right there. Akram Vengeance for six. Destroy all artifact creatures and enchantments. Cycling for three. No special ability uh, when it cycles. Pretty expensive. Might take that one out. Astral Drift for three here. Uh, it's an enchantment whenever you cycle Astral Drift or cycle another card with Astral Drift. While Astral Drift is on the battlefield, you may exile a target creature. If you do, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Or you can cycle it for three. That would be definitely one I'd probably uh, play and not cycle. Alright, now we got uh, Decree of Justice. It's got two X's, a generic two, and two white mana so it's pretty ex uh, expensive create x44 four, four white angel creature tokens with flying or you can cycle it for three when you cycle decree of justice you may pay x if you do create x11 one, one white soldier creature tokens so you still well you can do it for free but otherwise it's going to cost you at least four to get one and uh, every mana you use after that you get another one descend upon the sinful this is a uh, sorcery, a uh, total of six white, or, well, two white and four. Exile all creatures. 
Delirium, uh, create a 4-4 white angel creature token while flying if there are four or more car types among cards in your graveyard. So it lets you board wipe and then get a 4-4 for 6. Uh, Eternal Dragon for 7, flying 5-5 five, five, Dragon Creature Spirit. Uh, four, and it has a, for 5, return Eternal Dragon from the graveyard to your hand. Activate this ability only during your upkeep. As plane cycling, uh, we haven't seen these yet. Uh, so two, discard your card, search your library for a planes card, a real bullet, put it in your hand, and then shuffle. Um, pretty expensive, but I might keep it in there just so you can get a free land draw. But then again, I guess if you just put land in there, it'd be the same thing, wouldn't it? But then you get a cycle active bill. Footprints of the stag for two, a tribal enchantment elemental. When you draw a card, you may have Put a hoof print counter on hoof prints of the stag. And then for three, remove four hoof print counters from hoof prints of the stag. Create a 4 4 white elemental creature token with flying. Activate this ability only during your turn. So you can't sneak that in as a defender at the last second, unfortunately. Sun Titan. This is a good card, but I think this would get taken out. It just, just don't fit. It's too bulky. It's too expensive. It has no cycling ability. So for six, you get a creature giant with six six, built and vigilance. Uh, whenever sudden titan enters the battlefield or attacks, you may return a target permanent card with a converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Like I said, this is a great card. It just doesn't have any synergy, and it's due to its high mana cost, could end up just sitting in your hand and never be getting played. So I might take that out, but it definitely go good in some other type of a deck. Curator of mysteries for four, a blue creature sphinx. As flying 4-4, four, four, whenever you cycle or discard another card, you can scry one. Cycling for blue. Drake Haven for three and enchantment. Whenever you cycle or discard a card, you may pay one. If you do create a 2-2 two, two blue Drake creature token. Nice way to just pump up some tokens. New perspectives for six. Enchantment, whenever new, when new perspectives enter the battlefield, draw three cards. As long as you have seven or more cards in your hand, you may pay zero rather than paying the cycling cost. So that could get your hand just going super fast. Nibble Ob Obstructionist uh, for three, uh, flash and flying. It's a 3-1 creature bird wizard. When you cycle Nimble, uh, or, and then you can cycle it for three, and then when you do cycle it, uh, counter target activated or triggered ability you don't control. So you can cycle it uh, to prevent some sort of activated ability. Portal Mage for 3. It is a creature, human wizard 2-2. Two, two. Has flash. When Portal Mage enters the battlefield during the declare attacker's step, you may reselect which player or planeswalker target attacking creature is attacking. Uh, it can't attack its own controller though. So not a little less if you play in one-on-one -on -one for some reason. A little less powerful. We got Chandra, Flamecaller, Legendary Planeswalker, Chandra. Plus one, create two, three, one, red elemental creature tokens with haste. Exile them at the end of the next step. Zero, discard all cards in your hand, then draw that many cards, plus one. You get stuck with a bunch of lands and nothing to cycle, and we could help you out. She is six, though, so that's, uh, she'd have to be coming later. Or negative X, Chandra, Flamecaller, deals X damage to each and every creature. So that could be a board wipe there. You got a very, you already got the top creatures. I mean, board wipes are less val uh, valuable if you have the dominant creatures. But you can wipe the board if you have just happen to have like the top one or top two, and just leave that one. Each land. Uh, so we got tectonic reformation enchantment. Each land card in your hand has cycling red, cycling two. Two discard, draw a card. That red mana symbol is kind of confusing me on reading it. So do you pay red or do you pay two? I don't know. I have to look that one up. You can take, turn it, all your basic lands into cycling cards. You run, if you don't need land at a certain point. Asperia Supreme Judge. So this is expensive. Uh, for two, two white and two blue. Total of six. You get a legendary creature sphinx, 6-4, with flying. When a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, you may draw a card. Uh, Mercurial Chemist, total of 5. 
You can uh, tap it with a blue, draw two cards, tap it with a red, discard a card, and then uh, it does deals damage to target creature equal to that discarded card's converted mana cost. Not that bad. Nib Mizzet, the Fire Mane, uh, no, once again six. This time it is two generic, two blue, and two red. Legendary creature, Dragon Wizard, flying. Whenever you draw a card, Nib Mizzet, Fire Mane deals one damage to any target, and then uh, tap him and draw a card. So, and he's a legendary creature, Dragon Wizard, 4-4. Four, four. The Locust God, legendary God, creature God, for a total of six. Yeah. 4-4, four, four. whenever you draw a card, create a 1-1 one, one blue and red insect creature token with flying and haste. And then for 4, draw a card, then discard a card. When Locust dies, return it to its owner's hands at the beginning of the next end step. So this one, unless you exile, it's coming back to your hand. Abandon uh, Sarcophagus. Artifact for 3, you may cast spells that have cycling ability from your graveyard. Huge card. Changes the game changer right there. If a card that has cycling ability would be put into your graveyard from anywhere and it wasn't cycled, exile it instead. Fluctuator for two artifact. Cycling ability cost uh, cat, uh, cost up to two less to activate. Psychosis Crawler for five artifact horror. Psychosis Crawler power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your hand. Whenever you draw a card, each opponent loses one life. And we got some more lands here. Exotic Orchard, a land, tap, add one mana of any color that a land an opponent controls could produce. So a little variance there. Hostile Desert, it is a tap one for a colorless mana, or two exile land card from your graveyard. Hostile Desert becomes a 3-4 elemental creature until end of turn. It's still a land. Irrigated Farmland, you can add a white or a blue. Or you can cycle it for two. Prairie Stream, add a white or a blue. Prairie Stream enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. So that's, a, that's one of the better ones. Shivan Reef, add a generic or add a red or blue. And Shivan Reef deals one damage. Does not come in tapped. So that's good. And then Sky Cloud, you have to pay one. And then you tap it and you get a white and a blue back. And then we're back to uh, another three mountains. And one, two. So we got four planes. Bonders ornament, artifact for three. Tap it, add one mana of any color. Uh, for four, tap it. Each player who controls permanent name Bonders ornament draws a card. Arcane signet. Tap it, add one, add one mana of any color in your color, uh, commander's color identity, uh, artifact for two. Zoria Signet for two, you gotta pay one. And then you can tap it for a white and a blue, getting back two mana. Uh, Boro Signet, another one, same thing, except tap it and you get a red and a white. Commander Sphere, it, it is an artifact for three. Tap it, add one mana, any color, you call, commander's color, add an infinity, or you can sacrifice it for free at any time and draw a card. Is it Signet for two? Once again, pay one, it's artifact for two. Pay one and get two mana. This time, red and blue. Soul Ring for one, you can tap it and get two colors. One of your top mana helpers. Rogarin Crystal. So they included the artifacts from Accordia, but they did not include the Triome. And here is the artifact version of the Triome, basically. Uh, it just costs three to play it instead of getting it put in there, tapped like a land like the Triome would be. Valiant Rescuer, for two, you get a 3-1. Whenever you cycle another card for the first time each turn, create a 1-1 white human soldier creature token. Cycling for two. Boon of the Wishgiver for six, draw four cards. Otherwise, you can cycle it for one generic. Neutralize for three, counter target spell. Otherwise, cycle it for two. Ominous Seize. Whenever you draw a card, put a four shadow counter on Ominous Seize. Remove eight four shadow counters from Ominous Seize. Create an eight eight blue Kraken creature token. Or you can cycle it for two. Reconnaissance Mission. 
for four. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card, or you can cycle that for two. Rudy Moloch for five. It's a 4-4 four, four creature lizard. When Rudy Moloch enters the battlefield, exile a target card with cycling ability from your graveyard until end of turn. You may play that card. You have to pay the mana cost. Cycling for two. Save Thunderdome, a red and a white. Whenever you can't cycle a card, you may to pay two. When you do, Save Thunderdome deals two damage to target creature, and you gain two life. Uh, the card that your winner, this one's going to help you win. Zenith Flare. Uh, for four, Zenith Flare deals X damage to any target, and you gain X life, or X is the number of cards with cycling abilities in your graveyard. That could be like a 30. Hit them for 30 and gain 30 life very easily. If not, even more. Marital Impetus for three. It's an enchantment aura. Enchant creature. Enchant creature gets plus one, plus one, and has goaded. These are those goaded cards uh, you should probably take off. Whenever a enchanted creature attacks each other creature that's attacking one of your opponents, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Another uh, Impetus, Psychic Impetus. This is a blue. For three, enchant creature. Enchant creature gets plus two, plus two. is goaded. Whenever a chance creature attacks, you scry one, so you get that, even though you goad your opponent generally. Or you can goad your own guy if you want to give him plus two and attack every time with him. Shiny Impetus, the red one. Uh, Chapman Aura, enchant creature gets plus two, plus two again, and is goaded. Whenever a enchanted creature attacks, uh, you, a creature token, you create a treasure, excuse me, a treasure token, which is an artifact you can tap and sacrifice and gain one mana of any color. It's all right, but it just, I don't think it works in here. Cast out for four, uh, it's flash, it's an enchantment. When cast out enters the battlefield, exile will target non-land permanent and opponent crawls until cast out leaves the battlefield. And then you can cycle it for uh, one white. Spirit, Cairn, for three, it's an enchantment. Whenever a player discards a card, you may pay one. If you do create a one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Hieroglyphic Illumination for four, draw two cards, cycling for a blue. Uh, Vizier of uh, Tumbling Sands. Uh, tap it, untap another target opponent, or cycling for a one and a blue. Uh, when you cycle Vizier Tumbling Sands, untap target opponent, or target permanent, sir. Windfall for three. Sorcery. Each player discards their hand, then draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards a player discarded this way. So if you got like one card and your opponent's got seven, that'll help you get back, replenish your stock. Lightning Rift for two. Enchantment. When a player cycles a card, you may pay one. If you do, Lightning Rift deals two damage to any target. Slice and Dice for six here. Sorcery. Slice and Dice deals four damage to each creature. Cycling for three. Two and a red. Migratory Rout uh, for five. Create four 1-1 one, one white bird creature tokens with flying. Basic cycling for two. Basic land cycling, that is. So you can search your library and get a, uh, get a land card. Discover more magic. And so I guess that is it. That is the end of everything. Thanks for watching, folks. I uh, appreciate that. Have a good day.